Hey everyone, this is Tony Teaches Tech. I'm Tony, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up Ubuntu to use your Gmail email address to send email. So at the end of this video, you'll be able to send email on the command line, have cron jobs send emails, and be able to just in general, send system emails on Ubuntu using your Gmail email address. So if that's something you wanna learn how to do, let's go ahead and get on into the tutorial here. And I am logged in via SSH to my Ubuntu server. And I just did a sudo apt-get uh, update and an apt-get upgrade. So we have all the latest and greatest packages. And the one additional package that we'll need is the postfix package. So go ahead and do sudo apt-get install postfix. And we'll go through this configuration together here. So um, this is just basically explaining what the different options for configuration are. We're gonna end up using the internet configuration here. So that's the default one, uh, internet site, not internet with smart host, just internet site. And it's gonna ask you for your um, your system mail name. I, I put my domain name for my server here. So that's, and, and this really doesn't matter. Um, this is independent. So my domain name is micro.domains. So we'll go ahead and hit enter. And this will take you know just a few seconds to install the postfix packages. So when that's done, we will verify that uh, you know in general it looks good uh, with uh, just by looking at uh, inside of the the etc postfix directory at a file called main.cf. And um, this this is essentially uh, the the configuration file for postfix. And there's nothing we have to do in here now. I just wanted to make sure that this is uh, up and running. So um, at this point, you will want to set up an app password in your Google account instead of using your actual Gmail email address password. So an app password is basically like a secondary password that you can uh, give out to different applications that's associated with your Gmail account, uh, but it's more secure than giving out your, your root Gmail password. So I'll have a video about that topic, which you can check out if you don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, but once you have that information, then we can continue on here. And what we're going to do now is um, just take a look at um, a SASL file. So SASL is uh, in this file does not exist, so we have to create it. So um, SASL is simple authentication and security layer, SASL. And uh, this, I mean, this directory exists, right? etc postfix sassel, but in here you want to create a file called etc, or the file itself is called sassel password. So um, in here, this is basically going to be your credentials for your Gmail account. So it's going to look something like this. We have the SMTP server for Gmail, followed by a colon 587, which is the port number for SMTP and then your Gmail address. So for me, it's microdomains at gmail.com, colon the app password. Now, I have my app password here for the sake of this tutorial in plain text, but I'm gonna go ahead and get a new app password after this video, so don't try to hack me. Okay, so save that file, and uh, whoops, we have to do that with root. Sorry about that. So let's go back and do sudo vim, and we'll type that again and we'll save that file. There we go, we're good to go. Um, the next thing we wanna do is to create a hash database file, and we can do that with sudo postmap and passing it the pass path to that file that we just created. And what that does essentially is to, is uh, if we look in that directory again, it creates this .db file here. Um, and and uh, at this point, for like security purposes, we want to make sure that because we do have plain text passwords and usernames and all that stuff, we want to make sure that uh, root is the only user that can see these files and modify them, and we'll change those permissions with um, chown, ch change ownership for root, root group, root user for both of those files and uh, change the mod to 600. And by the way, I'll have all these commands linked down in the description below so you can copy and paste them and modify them as you need as opposed to like typing them out from the screen. So um, moving right along, let's configure, uh, let's actually configure postfix to use the Gmail server. So we can do that by editing that file that we looked at in the beginning, the main.cf file. 
Um, and in here, we're gonna look for something called relay host. Okay, and by default, that is empty. And in here, we kinda wanna take a snippet of what we entered in the password file. It's just gonna be the SMTP server for Gmail uh, in brackets, square brackets, followed by a colon, followed by the port 587. And um, also in here, at the very bottom of the file, we want to add a few additional lines of code here, or I guess it's not code, it's configuration file. And this, uh, I'll just put a comment above that. This will essentially enable SASL, SASL authentication. And, um, you know, we're enabling the SASL authentication, giving it a couple different uh, options here, and we're passing it the path to our password file and uh, uh, a basic CA certificate file. So let's go ahead and save that. And actually we're gonna make sure that that certificate file exists. So um, let's just double check that that exists with an LS in the certificate file. And it does um, under ETC SSL certificates. So next thing we can do is restart Postfix. And if we don't see any weird error messages pop back, that means it accepted our uh, configuration changes and we should be able to send emails from uh, from Ubuntu using our Gmail address. So let's go ahead and test that out. I'm going to move this uh, to the right hand side of the screen and open up an inbox here. And what I'm going to do is just use the, uh, the send mail command to send an email to another email address, which is Tony at TonyTravels.com. So the way this send mail command works is you do send mail and then the name of an email address that you want to send an email to. And then it's going to look like it doesn't do anything, uh, but you're just basically going to pass it some more information like the email headers, who it's going to go to and the content of the email address. So for the next line, I'll just do the subject colon and then the actual content of the subject test mail number one. And then I'll say for the actual body of the email, this is just a test email. We'll hit enter. And then to actually send the email, it's kind of weird, but you have to do control D. And hopefully within a few seconds, we should see that pop up here. And we do. So uh, this is from microdomains at gmail.com to we didn't specify two, which is kind of weird. We'll talk about that in a second. Um, mailed by Gmail. So we're using Gmail servers to actually send the email. We're not using Ubuntu server. We're using Gmail to send the email. And that was all the configuration that we did prior to this. So um, you got your, your subject, your body, all good. So let's do it one more time. Uh, we will do uh, send mail to the same email address and we'll pop back out of here. Uh, we'll do two this time, we'll specify a two. Even though we specify here, we have to explicitly say who it's going to uh, if you want to show up in the in what we just saw. So to tonytravels.com, uh, we'll give it a subject this time, test mail number two, and then this is another test email. This is just another test email, control D to actually send that. And matter of seconds, there it is. Test, test mail number two, this is just another test email and let's see if we get that populated. We do, the two email address says tony at tonytravels.com. Um, actually, I do wanna do one more test here and that is like I talked about in the beginning of the video, seeing if other um, system processes will send an email automatically using Gmail. So this is a system-wide install. So if we do, uh, if we open a cron tab, and uh, we're gonna use Vim to edit this cron tab. And if you're not familiar, um, what we're gonna do here with star, 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 you can read the documentation up here, but basically this means, this syntax means that every minute of every day of every week of every year, we're gonna execute the following command. So uh, we'll say echo hello world, okay? And then the cool thing that maybe a lot of people don't know about cron tabs is you can do a mail two at the top and then give it an email address that you want to send any output of the commands within your cron tab so i'm going to say we're just going to use the same email address tony at tonytravels.com 
we'll go ahead and save that. So every minute, let's check the time right now. It's uh, 10 seconds till the top of the minute. Um, within the next 10 seconds, when that gets over to 12, 11, we should see an email right around that same time pop up on the left-hand side from the cron on our uh, Ubuntu server. And we do, so here's the cron daemon sending that. And it's just the content of the output of that command show up. So anything that gets put to standard uh, standard output or standard error. Um, so that's cool, right? That's uh, that's something very useful, uh, I think. And if you have any questions about it, let me know in the comments below. I'll do my best to help you out. I got a couple other Ubuntu specific videos and email specific videos that you might find interested as well. So check those out too. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next video.